evening viewer welcome to our glory globe tv has a breaking news the subplot to the brick summit the inherent tension between founding member india and china is threatening to engulf and overshadow the main plot no sooner did the johannesburg's edition conclude controversy erupted in india over a conversation between prime minister narendra modi and chinese minister xi jinping on the sidelines of the summit in south africa everything about the purported conversation including the build up to it is intriguing not the least india's strange reticence to provide information it is a void that china is always happy to fill with its own brand of half truths and misinformation strategic ambiguity is a double edged sword with new delhi poised to host the high profile g20 summit next month an event that g is expected to attend opposition parties have smelled an opportunity around the lack of clarity on easing of tensions along the lse and have stepped up the attack they are accusing the center of hiding information and a national security issue has become a political football with all manner of tv debates acquisition analysis and hot takes shaped along partisan lines polarized politics harms diplomacy tribalism and posturing over national security issues especially while tackling a slippery adversary such as china makes achieving of objective order that's it the opposition is not obligated to conform to a bipartisan foreign policy consensus it is incumbent on the government to manage the situation this is where ambiguity becomes a problem on the conversation in question for instance controversy has also broken out over who made the first move the sequence of events is interesting According to media reports and a briefing conducted by India's Ministry of Foreign Affairs on Thursday Prime Minister Modi told G their first interaction since the Tete a Tete a Bali G20 summit last year the that normalization of ties defense on maintenance of peace and tranquility in the border areas and observing and respecting the LAC Foreign Secretary Binoy Quatra who conducted the Pressure did not specify when the exchange took place. According to a report in the Hindu quoting sources, the meeting happened on Wednesday, but the information was held back a day. Hindustan Times in a report also puts the interaction date on Wednesday, while adding that the two leaders were part of several informal interactions during the summit. The Foreign Secretary's comments mention no such details. Quatra, according to an MEA readout, said. On the sidelines of the BRICS summit, Prime Minister had interactions with other BRICS leaders. In a conversation with President Xi Jinping of China, Prime Minister highlighted India's concerns on the unresolved issues along the LSE in the western sector of the India-China border areas. Prime Minister underlined that the maintenance of peace and tranquility in the border areas are observing and respecting the LSE are essential for the normalization of the India-China relationship. Quatre added. In this regard the two leaders agreed to direct their relevant officials to intensify efforts at expedition disengagement and deescalation the last sentence is significant it suggests that the deadlock along the last two holdouts at the LSE in Eastern Ladakh despite yes devsang also devsang plans and demchok might be easy but we should not get ahead of events several issues remain intricately tangled though india and china have so far disengaged from five friction points galwan valley northern bank of pangong tso koilas range pp 17a and gogra and pp 15 in gogra hot springs the military stand up continues with 50000 to 60000 troop on each side heavy artillery and equipment remaining deployed along the lse and regulation evading the sticky pockets in depsang and demchok bendas report glory globe tv delhi india